I've been farming for 53 years, but besides being a farmer, I've also spent 25 years in public life. I was a member of parliament and also the mayor of my community. What about Percy? What do you know about him? You're not quoting me or anything? Oh, no, it's purely background. Absolutely anonymous. And in those years of public life, I have always fought for farmers' rights and the laws that would benefit them. Well, I'm just sure he's kind of an ass, you know? I've heard he's a bit of a, a crook, but I don't, I don't know. But that gives you a brief background, so now I'd like to go immediately to what happened to me. Where have you heard that? Oh, just from people, you know, just from a few people I know around town. What else have you heard? <laughs> Welcome to Joe Berg, Mr. Schmeiser. I can't tell you it's an honor it is to have you on the program. Mr. Schmeiser, can you please explain to our listeners the rationale behind the Canadian trial judge's ruling? Well, in the judge's decision, you violate Monsanto's patent if it goes on your field or it gets on your field regardless how. Percy, oh, and he lies faster than a horse can run. Yeah. But how is it, Mr. Schmeiser, that the judge could come to that conclusion? Because he ruled that patent law is over and above farmers' rights. Yeah, he was a smart-ass kid and he hasn't changed yet. Yep. So, your case that you were a seed saver and you absolutely didn't want contamination from GM crops had no weight in the court? No, none whatsoever. He ruled on patent law, not on farmers' rights. He was always different, but then... His dad was different too, so it was one of those but things. But you've got to yeah. remember that this is just one judge's ruling, and I have decided to appeal that ruling. So what's your view about his appeal against Monsanto? Well, he got his hand caught in the cookie jar. Cookie jar? Uh, and instead of doing like some other people should, did, paid up and shot up, yeah. he keeps fighting. This has been a tough fight for you, Mr. Schmeiser. How has it changed your life? Well, it is. My life has really changed. Uh, I wanted to retire. I wanted to go fishing with my grandkids. Why would he keep fighting? Well, he likes the publicity. <laughs> he's getting it all 